Something that doesn't get spoken about enough is deceleration patterns in the golf swing. We talk a lot about rotating the hips harder, really increasing things like torso rotation, but the problem is, is that if we've got a super fast engine in our car, but the brakes are crappy, then it's pointless. So I think there's two key parts here when it comes to deceleration patterns. You've got the deceleration of the body and also the de deceleration in particular of the hands and transferring that energy into the golf club. Benefits for this is obviously increasing club head speed and or strike. How to do it? Well, we've, we've heard an awful lot about ground reaction forces. I want you to start thinking about action forces. So in terms of the body, what we're looking for here is we need to give ourselves an action force in order to get our body to react to that. So the way I like to think of it is actually is the hands. So if I kind of wheel in my little smash bag here, in order to get the energy into the club head, I need to decelerate the handle. So the way I think of that is my left hand is stopping the handle at the top, but my right hand is coming through, hitting the bag. Bit, a little bit like an ice hockey player. So if you hold the club, club kind of a little bit with a split grip, you can see there that that kind of slap shot element, that transfers a lot of the energy that we're building up in our body into the club head. So the first port of call is just getting a sensation, getting a feeling of that handle being kind of decelerated with the hands. Next, we're gonna continue using the wee smash bag here. But the important thing here is, if we give ourselves that handle deceleration, you can see here that as if I'm pushing somebody or a little girl, little boy on a swing, we get our left side to really push into the ground in tandem with that. So you can see there my left leg is extending as I push into the ground, really kind of creating that acceleration. And as you can see here, that as I do that, the handle's decelerating, and then my body's opening up as a result of that. So the combination of those two should leave you with an action. If you're hitting the smash bag, a little bit like this. So we're getting that club at the top here. Gonna get the handle working down, but pushing the ground in tandem. There, so we go. Gives us a really powerful, solid hit. Increasing that club head speed, getting the body to act in according to what we really want to see with the forces and the pressures. Hope that's giving you some food for thought and hopefully is going to lead to you increasing that club head speed and or improving the strike quality. So thanks ever so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel and most importantly, send me some feedback. Enjoy doing these things, but if there's a particular topic or a myth that you have heard, please get in touch. Thanks for watching. See you soon.